all right welcome back guys um so in this lecture we're going to look at external style sheets okay so but um this particular lecture i'm just going to remove our first former styles okay and then within the first paragraph i'm also going to remove the style okay so t yeah okay so um i'm also going to remove this style okay the internal style and then i'll save so if i refresh the page um everything is back to normal so this is a paragraph okay now what what we want to do now is we want to create an external style sheet in other words we want to create an external document where our styles will be okay now to do that let's go ahead and create a new document so that's control n for new document and i'm going to save it and name it style.css okay and of course it's within our css folder i'll click on save boom so we have it here so um now to link this style sheet to our html we need to come to our header just before the closing of the head and we can say link and tab so basically what this does is that it creates a way for us to link our style.css file to this html file okay so of course the rel is style sheets this is just trying to tell the document that this is a style sheet um, there is also the option to add a type okay and set it to um text forward slash css okay so link the rel is style sheet and the type is text slash css now i would say that the text slash css type is actually not necessary in other words without it well our CSS is still going to be linked so um, now basically we need to now connect our style.css in our href attributes now to do that all we just need to do is to say style okay and our code editor gives us the option so style.css okay and I'll hit save I refresh the page and of course nothing happens that is because our style but css file doesn't have any declaration so just like in html in our css we can also add comments okay and to add comments in our css file basically we do it using this so this is how we add comments in our css file so i'm just going to say this is a css file Okay, and just like in our html remember to add comments in our html we do it like so okay so this is a comment and then save it doesn't appear in the browser it doesn't affect the content of the page same for the css okay so now what, what we're going to do is the same css we did in our internal css we're going to place it here so i'm just going to say p which stands for paragraph okay p selector and i'll add my curly braces hit enter and basically i want to set the color to red and then i'm going to close with a semicolon now let's save and refresh the page boom so um our paragraph now appears red okay our paragraph appears red um so basically this is external css in other words our css rules and declarations are independent of our html file okay so with this single css file we can style multiple number of pages all we need to do is to add the link of the css to the head of the page okay um yeah so like i said the type text that css is not really necessary so I can go ahead and delete it and I'll save 
and if i refresh the page my css file is still connected but you can still put it if you want um, it just helps you to know that this is a css file okay so basically we've looked at internal css inline css and external css okay so in the next lecture we are going to look at the css priority okay so if you have different css rules let's say you have an a css rule in line internal and external which css rule will be applied to the html element so basically that's what we're going to look at in the next lecture thank you so much for watching this lecture see you in the next one